Ethan, first of all, thanks very much for your time. Now a fully fledged international. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I've been uh, sorting sorting the paperwork out for for a few months, and there was a lot of little bits and pieces that I had to get done, but. Yeah, managed to to get all sorted, and yeah, it was a really enjoyable experience. How exciting was it? Yeah, it was. It was really exciting, and I think uh, the fact we had a lot of uh, players on their first time as well coming over from England that uh, that I've been playing against as well. I think it was for all of us. It was kind of a new experience, and it was it was good to to get that in uh, in from this. Um, international break so that we can kind of push forward from from the next set of games. I was going to say, how, how much does that help when you, although they're not club teammates of yours, you'll know them from the fact they're playing like Jamal Swansea, for example. Yeah, yeah, it does definitely help. I mean, um, you're all used to kind of playing against each other and you kind of the same competition. So you know what the intensity you play at's like. And yeah, I think it was a good experience for a lot of us and you know, trying to integrate with the the boys that are already part of the squad, I think it made it easier coming in as kind of a small group. How much of a step up is international football from what you're playing with? I mean, in terms of with Jamaica to playing with Brentford? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a different kind of um, setup. Um, obviously, we only played the one game. Uh, it was against the, the US, who, who had a really good squad, to be fair. But um, yeah, I think just the culture and the training wise, it is, you know, it is a, a new kind of setting that we're not completely familiar with. But I think a lot of us really enjoyed it and it does give you a chance to experience something a little bit different. Well, I think Jamaica and, and the reggae boys, I think is the, the nickname for the club, for the, for the country and how they play. Um, first came to preference really in the 90s, you know, when Robbie Earl used to play for them and they got to on the verge of qualifying for for major tournaments. Yeah, um obviously they've they've qualified for the the World Cup only that one time in 98. Mm. So I think uh, you know we're we're trying to give it a really big push to to try and get as much quality players in as we can and really try and qualify for the for the Qatar World Cup. Now the game with America was in Austria, obviously because of COVID. You got, you obviously can't wait for the time that we get back to normal, and your home games are in the Caribbean. That must be so hard having to go to the Caribbean to play football. <laughs> no, yeah, obviously you know a lot of the boys uh, we are looking forward to it. Um, obviously the the weather's usually really nice out there, and you know the food's really good, and you know you just you, it's just like a different setting completely that a lot of us won't be used to, but. You know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to the next break when we can go over there. And obviously, once once the fans can start getting in the stadium, I think playing at the National Stadium would be like an amazing experience with, you know, all the Jamaican fans there. And yeah, I'm buzzing for it. Are you trying to tell me that the weather's not the same in Brentford as it is in uh, in Jamaica and, and the cook at Brentford's no good? <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying a few degrees hotter over there. Just a few degrees. No, I'm joking. Listen, we're getting towards the business end of the season now. Yeah. How much, first of all, is last year's experience going to help in terms of the last eight games? I think it, it could have a big, big impact on the last eight games. Um, obviously, last year, getting so close, um, a lot of that, boys, you know, we still try and uh, carry that feeling and harvest it into, into a positive manner and... Uh, we kind of know um, that, you know, even even though we did go on that great run, you know, it was right at the end where we couldn't quite get over the line. So it's just um, taking into account uh, every every single game as an individual game, trying not to focus on what we've done or the, the what kind of run we we're actually on, just uh, full focus on the game in hand. And I think that will play an important part. I mean, you, you, you had that... It, you had two bites of the cherry getting promoted last year. You've still got two bites of the ter- cherry getting promoted this year. In, in a sense, is, is that going to help as well? I mean, there, there are other teams, like, for example, Reading, like Barnsley, um, and, and even Watford who came down, who haven't maybe got that experience of, you know, going down the last four or five games of the season with such a big carrot in front of them. 
Yeah, I think it obviously um, Watford, you know, they've been on a really good run at the moment. So it will be difficult to catch them. But, you know, as I, as I touched on before, we have to kind of just focus on our own performance. And yeah, the position we're in, we were in a similar position last season. I think we're a little bit closer, but, you know, uh, it's, it's one of them things that looks like it could go down right to the wire. So, you know, it's all about accumulating as many points as possible. And, you know, even if there may be a result that um, that we that isn't good enough or what we're looking for, it's just, you know, trying to get straight back into things and trying to get three points the, the next game if, if that does occur. The drop points recently, is, is that down to a lack of concentration? Is that down to, to pressure? What's it been down to? I don't believe it's uh, the pressure. You know, the boys were, were really confident and, um, you know, we're a tight-knit group. Um, you know, sometimes, in, uh, obviously, with the Derby game, we was really comfortable in the first half. But, you know, I think once once they got that early goal right at the start of the half, you know, it kind of changes the, the flow of the game. So I think it's just, uh, you know, trying to compartmentalise games and making sure that we're, we're fully focused in the in the crucial parts not conceding and you know just trying to carry on our performances from one half to another and obviously Derby you know they made some changes and that that also had an effect on the game so it's just it's about our response to to teams you know up in the tempo and making changes and just trying to adapt to it as quick as possible during the game. You're playing Birmingham at home next in, in terms of they're, they're right down the bottom but they've got a new manager in Lee Boga and the results have been kind of mixed, let's put it that way. But because they have a new manager, are they, are they to be taken a little bit more wary of? I think every team, you know, you always got to be uh, really wary of them. I think with uh, a new manager coming in, you know, it, it does often give teams that little extra 10, 15%. And I think our, our recent record against Birmingham, you know, we've, we've had a lot of difficult games against them and they've, you know, they've got a few wins against us. So I think we need to be very wary of that. But at the same time, I, I believe, you know, if we if we concentrate on on playing our game and playing to our top top level, then, you know, I believe that we've got enough quality to, to go on and win the game. Do you remember last season, I think you battered them at Griffin Park, or maybe the season before, on the only day of the season, and Thomas was irate because they won with, with their only effort on target, which is ahead of from the edge of the box. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Uh, we played them first game of the season this year as well. And, you know, it was similar. You know, we had a, a lot of the ball and we created a few chances, maybe not as much as the year before. But I think in both games, you know, on another day, we could have, you know, gotten three points or, or draw minimum. So, yeah, I think we need to be um, concentrate extra and make sure, you know, we don't we don't give up any sloppy goals. Or But obviously with the first one, as you said, a header outside the box, you know, it doesn't happen that often. So you just got to make sure we stay in the game as, as long as we can. And then, you know, hopefully our quality will shine through. Last couple on, on you and, and Brentford. Um, this season, is it really vital that you get up? Because, and what I'm getting at there is every team, every group of players and, and management have kind of a lifespan of, of, of achieving what they want before they get broken up and it all starts over again. And this is your second, so I could be third go at it. Um, you've replaced players that have gone before, but there are still players in the team, the likes of you, the likes of Ivan Tony, Norsgaard, you know, there is the goalkeeper, David Rare, who always talks about regarding playing in the Premier League. So it, would you say that there's that bit of pressure on the team that, that they've got to get it done this time? Um, I'd say that it's better to do it, but from within ourselves, um, having been so close, um, I know, uh, you know, after two, three years, sometimes uh, teams do change a bit. But, you know, if you look at last season where we had Oli and Saeed, you know, they, they went to Premiership teams, but we still managed to keep the core of the squad and, you know, we're challenging again. So I think, you know, as, as players having come so close, you know, we, we all desperately you know want to make it this year um you know it's not going to be easy and that uh, there's always going to be interest uh, when you're playing well when you're at the top of the league you know um teams will, will always be looking but you know I, 
we got, a, as I said before, we got a tight knit boys a group, and you know we're all striving for the same thing, and you know we're we're trying to do it here at Brentford. So um, yeah, it's just getting over the line this year. Last couple. First of all, how much at the back is the next seven, six, seven games, whatever it is, going to test? Goalkeeper and and that dynamic at the back, you Pontus Janssen, uh, Winston Reid, Henrik Dalsgaard. Do you know what I mean? In terms of everyone's looking at Ivan Tony's goals, but you've got a part to play at the back as well, haven't you? Yeah, um, I think you know this season we've conceded a, a few more than last year, and you know the last couple of months we've been really like working to try and shut that down. Um, I think we we have done better in spells. Um, but, you know, it's just trying to, to cut out, you know, kind of the easier kind of goals or the sloppier kind of goals from our play. But, you know, the way we play is, a, it is an expansive brand and, you know, we try and play out. So there are going to be occasions uh, where things uh, do go wrong, but it's just about minimising that and, you know, trying to balance between the risk and reward. But, um, yeah, I think defensively, you know, we, we are really strong and, you know, we just, if we stick to our standards and, you know, get back to where we want to be, then I don't see why we, we can't be really strong going into the last the last lot of games. Finally, Ivan Tony, he gets so many headlines this season. First of all, does it annoy the rest of the team? Everybody concentrates on Ivan Tony. And you, you guys are going, hang on a minute, there's 10 of us as well. <laughs> um, and, and how much do you maybe, sounds silly this question, Need to help him out with a few more goals between now and the end of the season. Not that he's ever looked like stop scoring, but if you can add a few more for the rest of the team, that might win you the, the, the crucial games between now and the end of the season. Yeah, you know, all the, the headlines he's getting, you know, I think they're thoroughly, uh, thoroughly deserved. You know, scoring, nearly, he's scored, I think, nearly 30 goals this season already. Still a lot of games to play. So, you know, all the plaudits he does get, they're thoroughly deserved. And yeah, as you said, I think as a team, you know, we need to try and chip in with a few more goals, whether it's maybe set pieces and things like that. But I, I think our overall tally has been good in terms of our goals. So it's just, um, yeah, just trying to, yeah, support support him in terms of goals as well. But yeah, <laughs> it, we do, we have scored quite a lot anyway, but yeah, just hopefully keep that going to the end. <laughs>